Oh man, I wish there was something I could do about these waterlogged fog lights and these dingy headlights. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I'm out here with the old Green Hornet WJ and I got a great video lined up for you. We are gonna take care of these ugly, disgusting, dingy, faded WJ headlights. We're gonna make them look something like this, crystal clear, much more respectable. And it's actually one easy step. No buffing, no polishing. It's an old mechanics trick. So I'm gonna show you that. We're gonna turn that into that. And then after we take a look at this, I'm gonna go ahead and replace these completely with these. These are Laredo headlights. I scored these from a junkyard for next to nothing. They look brand new. So we're going to pop these in. Also going to put in some fog lights. So we've got a fog light video too because I think I'm starting an aquarium over here. I cut like an inch of water. So we'll take care of that. Then once we get the new lenses in, of course, we're going to up the game. I got these sea light LEDs to try out for the fog lights. Oops, sliding. And I got some Basla lights to put in the headlights. So I can't wait to show you all of that, but first I have to wait till it gets dark so we can see how crappy these lights really are. All right guys, here we are. It's about eight o'clock at night. It's very dark out. These lights are really dingy. They're not doing much. I think I got a bulb out right here. We've got some water and this fog light. <laughs> really gross, really disgusting. Let's check out the light pattern. Over here, extremely dim barely lighting up the garage door. And uh, when we change this out, I wanna keep this consistent. So I went ahead and I put a block here, put a little spray paint line right there so we could line it up in the same spot every time. So that's it, pretty gross. That's what we're working with. No mods yet, just 20 years of dingy, dirty light decay. And uh, yeah, let's go take a ride on the road. We'll see how these look on the road. That will be our baseline for all our comparison. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, here we are on the back roads and we don't have much light coming out of this vehicle right now. I think the uh, airbag light is probably brighter. Let me just hit on the fog lights. There we go, fog lights are on now too. And that did just about nothing. So let's uh, take this on the highway, see how it does there. Here we go, about to merge on the highway. Still nothing special here. Got the fog lights on too. Let's hit these brights real quick. Yeah, the brights actually do much better, but then again, they're brights and they're supposed to. These regular old lights ain't much. We got a wide open road, no street lights, and it is dark. So let's head home and I'll show you my headlight restoration trick. All right, guys, here we go. Here is our dirty, dingy headlight. I'm just gonna take some Windex to it. I'm gonna clean up any debris, any, any grossness. Get all the bug guts off of it. That's key right there. All right, guys, there is our dingy faded headlight. All I did was do a quick once over with some Windex. You'd probably have to do that for any treatment, but I just wanted to get the bug guts off it. And this way you could tell that I'm working with a completely untouched, untreated surface. All right, here we go. Regular old household sponges. I got a three pack. Just gonna take one. So I got one sponge. It's got that scotch bright scratchiness on the back. Regular sponge in front. Just gonna cut it into a couple strips. Now all I'm gonna do is take some good old carburetor cleaner. I'm gonna soak the sponge. All right guys, check this out. This is magic, ready? Check that out guys. Just a few quick passes. That's amazing. Crystal clear, foggy and faded. And just minutes. Now, 
if you touch it, check it out. It's it's a little tacky because what we did is we essentially just melted the whole top layer of this plastic with the chemical. And yeah, it's gonna be a little tacky. It's it's melted. So we just gotta let this thing dry for a little bit. We're not gonna touch it. We'll move on to the next one. Not bad at all. Not bad for a few seconds of swiping. I think the passenger side isn't as good as the driver's side. It's a little hazy in here. But I think that if you use a really soaked sponge, you make quick, fast swipes, you'll be all right. And just keep those sponges clean. Not bad. This is a little trick that my mechanic uses for people's headlights who can't afford new lights and uh, they're too dingy. He just gives them a quick swipe and they'll pass inspection. The good stuff. Wow. <laughs> Looking good. Oh wow, that's night and day. So I'm gonna pop in some new bulbs and we'll see how these lenses do. All right, this is looking pretty good. Pretty good for a quick fix. And I just went ahead and I replaced all the bulbs. You can see when they start getting like this chrome looking color. I don't know if you can see that. They like look chrome on the tips. That's how you know they're going bad. So I got all new 194s and what are these? <laughs> these, these are supposed to be amber. They're basically peeled off. They look clear. These are uh, 3157 AKs, so. Those are the bulbs, just double check yours, make sure you get the right bulbs for your Jeep. I think they vary from year to year. So, there we go. We got ourselves a nice resurfaced headlight. Only cost about $30 between the sponges, the carb cleaner, and the bulbs. And here you go guys, this is your disclaimer. For you guys that are looking for perfect detail, um, don't do this. You know, this is could be risky for your clear car, well, <laughs> this is shot anyway. But, uh, you know, if you don't want to risk it, don't do it. You are dealing with chemicals. But uh, for those of you who don't really care, you might want to give this a shot before you go spend money on new headlights. All right, guys, it's about that time. Here are the lights after their quick one, two, three restoration. Again, they're not going to be perfect, but they're better. Got a little streak to them, but it's all right. It wasn't meant to be perfect. So that's how they look. Still got some water in that lens, but uh, overall not too bad. Can't beat it for uh, that price and that little amount of effort. And here is our pattern. All right. There we go. This is what it looks like when I stand right in front of the grill. Not too bad. And here we are with the high beams on. Again, the fog lights have to go off because of those relays. Take a look at the pattern up there. Yep. Got some light blasted up top. So that's the high beams. All right. Let's hit the road. And here we go, guys. Once again, same back roads, same dim lights. I was hoping that the headlight trick would do a little bit better than it did. It's really hard to tell. You know, just a couple layers of grime isn't really a deal breaker with the uh, stock bulbs are not too powerful. I have a product I want to show you guys. I didn't really plan to show you in this video, but what the heck. So instead of going on the highway, I'll just turn back right now and I'll show you something really cool. All right guys, check this out. We got Basla again. Now these are brand new Bullet B1 bulbs. They are 9006 for the WJ low beams. 
also HB4, but we call it 9006. And these were a free gift from Summer over at Balsala. Thank you very much, Summer. Can't wait to try these out. Uh, well, this is a free gift too. These are the ones I'm gonna put in eventually at the end of this video. These are the four ways, uh, the Bullet Series B4. These have the uh, amber in it, look at that, four ways. But uh, I'm really excited to see what these could do. I have not tried these out yet. We're gonna pop these in right now and see what these do at night. <laughs> I forgot. LEDs have uh, polarity that matters. So if it doesn't go on, just flip over the plug. There we go. Hoo-wee! Look at that, guys. That's off the hook. That's nice and bright. That's a that's a lot of K right there. That's maybe like 10,000? 10,000 K on the uh, color spectrum right there. That's pretty bright. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's flip this around so you can see the pattern. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is bright. And this uh, this camera doesn't even do it justice. Wow, looking good. <laughs> All right, let's go take this for a test drive. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, these Basel bulbs are very bright. What a treat. Comes in handy when you live in the pitch black. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie. I love these Bossel bulbs. <laughs> they are great. So now I got them in my ZJ, I got them in my XK, and now I got them in my WJ. These are the ones that are just straight up brightness no flashing or anything like that to get you uh, any other modes. No yellow, no flashing. It's just straight up bright bulbs. Simple and effective. Yahoo. drive to say the least let's just say I'm glad I ordered something when I did more on that in another video but yeah I uh, I really like these Bosla lights this thing was driving great up until something happened but yeah Bosla headlights are great and uh, I think I'm done driving it's cheap for tonight so uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow when we swap out the headlights and the fog lights so see you in the morning guys all right here we go guys finally I get to put in my new Laredo headlights. Well, they're not new. They're just, uh, they're a really clean junkyard find. And, um, geez, I, I paid next to nothing for them. Look at them. They look great. Well, they're, they're dirty, but they're filthy. <laughs> we'll clean them up when we get them in. All right, now we're just going to give these a little tug. Yeah, they come out a lot easier after they've been out before. I'm just going to disconnect all these light bulbs. There we go. Goodbye, old light. <laughs> Who would chemically melt their lights? Silly. When I pulled out this headlight, it went ahead and it pulled out that little socket receiver. You're going to want to make sure you put all those little white plastic sockets back where they belong so your new headlight clips in. We're going to go ahead and take this off first. Do it right now. I just kind of... Oh. Jeez, I wonder why it came off with the headlight. There we go. Roll that out. Ugh, this one's greasy. Just kind of clip this back in where it belongs. There we go. Now these things will hold the headlights in. 
Okay guys, check out this headlight. Look how good it looks. It looks new, I know it's not new. The date on the sticker actually says 2013. It's uh, Vallejo, Slovenia, so it's probably aftermarket. I'll see if I can find a link. I'll put it in the description so you can get something similar to this if you want. But uh, what a score. I even took the whole harness. I just snipped the wire, pulled everything out myself. This way I got extra bulbs if I need it, even though I went ahead and bought some new marker bulbs over there. But yeah, so we got this whole headlight harness. I'm just gonna disconnect it right now. Come on, take out all these extra bulbs, and hey, I got extra sockets, just in case the sockets go bad. I got plenty now. There we go, a whole harness. I'll probably just put that harness on my other headlights. This way, if I need a spare, I'll have the headlight bulbs and that extra lens all ready to go. And uh, it's good to store your bulbs or your lenses with the bulbs in it. This way crud doesn't get in it. So we're putting these bulbs back in. It's just plug and play guys. They uh, they have muscle memory, I like to say. The wires just bend to where they're supposed to go. It's not really hard to figure that out. Oh yeah, and we're gonna put in our new Bossel bulb. So check this out. I'll stop it right here. Boom, the Bossel B4s. Now these are the ones that have the multifunction they have the white, the mix, the yellow, and the flash. So we're going to go ahead and put these in. I'm excited for this. This was the, the main goal. So thank you, Summer, for hooking it up again. And uh, i also leave you guys a link with my discount code. You get a Dan H discount when you order your Bossel bulbs. So we'll go ahead. We'll disconnect this bulb down here. put this in a safe spot. Now we're going to go ahead and connect these Basla ballasts. Just slide on the connector protector. <laughs> I tighten this. Make sure they don't come undone. Now we can remove our protective glass cap. And these go in just like any other bulb. Put it in. Give it a little rotate. Just like that and it's in now we just got to connect our little ballast where's this wire plug it in all right before I install the light I'm just gonna check this because we know that they have specific polarity I just want to make sure that the plug is in the right way cool all right this harness has a little receiver I'm just gonna rest this on this little nipple this will help keep the wires out of the way just like so add a little grease this way the headlight doesn't get stuck in there I'm just gonna throw my ballast back in this crevice this way the wires don't get pinched on anything don't want to crush your ballast <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> and then we can slide the headlight into place line up all those little ball sockets there we go make sure you got your hole lined up up here and they should just click in smooth and here we go we got our little pin with threads That'll slide right down in there if there's nothing obstructing it. And a seven millimeter for the win. That's it. New headlight is in. Hey, check it out, guys. While I was installing the bulbs on this lens, I noticed that the adjustment screw was busted off for this light. So I think you could just rotate this thing and pop it out. Yes. Hey, it's just a ball socket. All right. Cannibalize the adjuster from the old headlight. Sweet. Just dip the socket in a little grease. Help it clip in a little easier. There we go. Let me line this up. There we go. All right. New adjuster on a new lens. Used lens with a new bulb. Score. There we go. That adjuster is right down in that hole. You can see the head of it right there. And if we need to adjust, we can just put our seven millimeter down there and we could adjust it up and down. But we'll do that later when we can see our pattern on the garage door. Oh man, look at these guys. These things are sweet. <laughs> Headlights make all the difference in the world. My goodness. You can see the reflection of the whole house in there. Now, 
<laughs> we gotta worry about these. Blah. <laughs> All right, for the fog lights, to get to them, I rotated this big old wheel, full lock, so I could get in this little flap and remove the bolts we need to remove. I think they're 10 millimeter nuts. Okay, so I just popped off my bottom two plastic rivets, one here and one just up there, and I moved this little splash guard out of the way. Now I could get to this 10 millimeter nut. And when both of those nuts are out, this thing should just pop right out. There we go. Now we can undo the bulb. <laughs> I am honestly shocked that this bulb didn't blow. Gross. Well, son of a bee, guys. My rusted fastener is stuck on to the WJ. So they have the bolt flange right there. Or the nut flange right there. And they got another flange in here. So I may have to operate. Check these boots out. I got these on Amazon. These are really nice. Of course, I'll leave the link in the description below. These look great. They're uh, really nice looking and very affordable. Um, the good part is they came with their own bulbs, so that's nice. The bad part is they didn't come with nuts. They wanted me to reuse those rusted WJ nuts. Um, I threw them in the garbage, and I went ahead and I took some XJ nuts and uh, took them from my stash. So uh, maybe I'll replenish these later. But if you need to know what size they are, these are M6 by 1 threads if you get these. Uh, of course, the link in the description below, and I don't need these bulbs because I was gifted these LEDs from Sea Light. Now, if you have a plastic rivet set, you might want to use it. And if you don't, I'll leave a link in the description below. Just gonna put our rivet and our plastic rivet tool, slide it into the hole, give it a good squeeze. There we go, pinched in place. One more down here. Oh baby. Looking sweet. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> what can I say? They are looking so good. I love these Laredo headlights and the Basel bulbs icing on the cake. And big thank you to Sea Light for these awesome LED fog light bulbs. Of course, the link will be in the description below for everything. And now let's check out the light pattern. Boom, look at that right there you see this one driver side is low passenger side is high let's adjust it real quick <laughs> there we go we got counterclockwise to go down and clockwise to go up so tidy is up and i think right there will be good they're so bright we're going to bring the bulbs down 
Just a hair. Don't want to blind anybody. Even though we get blinded all the time, right guys? <laughs> Let's do the other side a little bit more. There we go. That's just right. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. All right, bulbs are in. We got the beams dialed in just right. There's only one thing left to do, test drive. Hey, 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 check out how bright these bulbs are. I love it. Bossley did it again. Let's add the sea light fog lights. There we go, it's got an extra little kick. Looking bright, nice and crisp. I love these fog lights. And headlights. I love bright lights, period. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a minute and we'll cycle through all the functions of these lights. Now, the fog lights are 6,000K sea light LEDs, looking good, simple on and off. And now for the headlight, the low beams are the Bossel bulbs. These are the four-way special bulbs. Now, they stay on when you flick on the brights. Now, check it out. You cycle these off and on, and boom, you have a yellow-white mix. Then you cycle them again. You have the all-yellow Cycle them off and on one more time and you get flashing yellow hazard lights. And one more cycle and you're back to the white. All right, that is gonna do it for my WJ lighting video. Thank you so much, Basla. Thank you, Sealight. I really appreciate the products. I love them, they're looking great. And I will leave a link in the description below to everything I used in this video. I'm getting rained on, so I'm gonna get out of here. So that's it, remember to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next project. Peace.